Hi, welcome to DEF CON 3. I'm Katie McCrone. The missing plane, the mystery continues and it seems to increase. We seem to know now, almost 10 days into it, less than we knew on day one. So we decided to bring in a, a guy who really does know how to do crisis management, Tom Ruskin. He's the former NYPD detective in charge of crisis management for New York City. He's a guy who was there for the first Trade Center bombing, the September 11th Trade Center bombing. He was there for three airline injury, um, crises, situations, terrorist incidents with um, American aircraft. And he knows what should happen when we have a crisis. And he's going to tell you why a lot of those things that we know weren't done in Malaysia. So welcome to DEF CON 3, Tom. Welcome Thank back you. to DEF CON 3. Thank you. Okay, so what happens from here? It's now a week later. Nobody knows anything more than they knew the first day. Well, we, we do know more. We do know that the plane made two dramatic turns. It made a turn where it lost the transponders, and then it turned to the west. It made a dramatic left-hand turn, if you look at the screen. And then it made another dramatic right-hand turn shortly thereafter. I believe that that was to elude radar or any kind of pinging. But we also know that the transponders were simultaneously shut down, which means if it wasn't a catastrophic event on the plane, mm -hmm. it means that someone purposely did this, which means a criminal investigation. Needless to say, the Malaysian government has now come out and they believe it was a criminal act. So my question to the world is why at this point in time have we shut down Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia Air, and, and conduct this criminal investigation? Because if someone could do this, you're dealing with a plot of more than one person, more than two pilots if they were both involved, to be able to carry this out. So why at this point in time haven't the Malaysian government shut down this airline? Okay, so in other words, if it was something other than equipment malfunction, mm -hmm. if it was terrorist, if it was suicide, if it was hijacking, any of those things, there are other people who probably know about it, and they're still free. They were not on that plane. Not only people who knew about it, people who could have been involved in it, gotten other people onto the plane without anyone's knowledge. The flight, the people who get the plane ready could have put things on the plane. The Malaysian government themselves have come out at this point in time and said, this is a deliberate criminal act. Right. We know that the plane made these two dramatic turns. It doesn't look like that's a catastrophic event. Mm -hmm. You don't make a turn dramatically to the west and then make a dramatic turn to the northwest at a certain point in time. A plane that's in distress is looking for some it's place to land, land yeah. or looking for some place to ditch into the, I mean, you and I were on set right here right. when you, the US Air flight, the Miracle right, on the Hudson yeah. came down. We know what happens at those catastrophic times. This does not appear on face value when you when you lose six transponders on a plane mm -hmm. to be a catastrophic event. Tell me about the pilots. Who are these guys? We don't know yet. And and why it take and the Malaysian government know? six days, seven days to be able to you know perform a search on their houses. Now what they're doing is with the pilot Shah is they're going through his laptops. They want to see what he did on his flight simu simulator. The very crucial portion of the investigation and of evidence that potentially could tell us something about his mindset. If it had been NYPD, and that, that incident had happened out of LaGuardia, how long would it have taken you to go look for those pilots in their homes and their laptops? Less than an hour. Less than an Depending hour. Depending on how long it took our cars, we would have, let's say they were outside the jurisdiction, they were in Long Island, we would have immediately had Suffolk County respond to the house and seal the house off until New York City could have gotten there with the search warrants. An hour, an hour and a half. Okay. Not six days, Not seven six days. days. What's the U.S. role in all of this now? I mean, we're the A team, right? We we're, are we're, the we're pretty clear that Malaysia is not the A team, probably not even the B team. So. We are the A team, probably anywhere in the world. The NTS, NTSB is the lead agency in investigating these type of things worldwide. They, they are asked by other governments to come in to assist those governments. The FBI is also very well versed. So, in so the Malaysians didn't want us from day one? Well, they did, but it takes a while for the A-team, the U.S. government, and, and our responding agencies to be able to get to Kuala Lumpur. 
sent to that, that area. But it doesn't take seven days. It doesn't take seven days, but you know, it takes a while for a GO team to get there and start investigating. Remember, it's not on our soil. It's not our plane. So we have to be invited in, and then we have to start. At the point in time where we lost Americans on that plane, and we know right now we know three Americans were on that plane. Then it becomes our, then it's our Well, it's, it, it's definitely of our concern, and it's definitely of our government's concern. As you well know, being in the position of the White House and the State Department, you know, at that point in time, it does become a U.S. incident. Mm -hmm. We have to be invited in by the government to assist in the investigation other than what we can normally do. If, if you talk to me about the passports, now it appears now that they are not related to whatever happened on that flight, but we do know that two people had gotten on that flight with stolen passports. Isn't that supposed to be an international database, but that's not supposed to happen anymore? Well, Interpol had them in their database. I don't know where the failings are here, and you and I have discussed this off camera, but the failings are we're still not up to speed after 9-11. What we learned from 9-11, what we learned from the 9-11 Commission report mm -hmm. is that people with stolen passports are on a plane. The plane tickets were bought with cash, cash. one-way tickets, and they didn't pay for the tickets. Someone else from Iran, Iran well, that's, that's paid for the tickets. You four or five woo, blinking lights, right? I would say flares, uh, Uchi, you know, fireworks explosion. You have to look at all these warning signs. Now, we don't know if they had anything to do with the, the plane disappearance, and we can't assume that they did. Mm -hmm. But at this point in time, why isn't the international system up to speed to know that people are boarding a plane that probably shouldn't be on the plane, or at least should be questioned? They wouldn't be getting on an LL flight. Right, that's a good point. I mean, LL would have profiled these guys up and down. They would have been off the flight. There's some some um, speculation has said, well, was there something that was pre-placed, pre-positioned on the airplane, either people who were pre-positioned in hiding, mm -hmm. waiting to take mm -hmm. over the aircraft, or maybe weapons that might have been pre-positioned um, so that the, whoever was getting on the plane to do something bad knew where to go look and right. find the weapon. What's the likelihood of that happening? I would say at this point in time, it's something you'd have to look into. It would be part of my investigation. Mm -hmm. Something happened on that plane. And the scary portion to look at at this point in time, voice data recorders right. and the flight recorders re-record over every two hours. This plane was in the air for six to eight hours from what we know and had the ability to fly six to eight hours beyond the first event. Mm -hmm. Provided we find the plane and the voice recorder, which I think eventually we will, or someone will find the plane and the voice recorders, whatever the event is, we'll only hear the last two hours, two hours oh. plus. The reason that's like that is the hard drive is not big enough to contain more than two hours because most events in a plane crash or in a plane catastrophic event right. happens within two hours. Whatever the catastrophic event is, it mm -hmm. doesn't fly for two more hours mm -hmm. thereafter. It either lands or it crashes. Let me take, look at this from a different perspective. We've all been focusing on what do we know about that plane? Right. What do we know about the pilots? What do we know about the people mm -hmm. on the crew? How about taking it from a potential perspective of, let's assume this was a dry run of some sort. What do they now know about our reaction? Well, they know that, you know, as soon as you shut off the transponders, for some reason, you can't be able to track a plane, which was news to me. You mm -hmm. always figure, yeah, you know, always there's certain that. military organizations and countries that may not want to reveal some of their intelligence. Mm -hmm. Some of the intelligence that we may know. Listen, we have one of the largest fleets right there in the Indian Ocean right. of anywhere in the world. I'm sure that they're putting all this data together from the U.S. government and other governments and trying to put it together in some kind of systematic way to be able to follow the line to where the plane may be. We're not sure if this plane crashed. Mm -hmm. Or landed. It could be in Pakistan mm -hmm. or one of those countries. It could be landed. The people could be being held hostage. The, the, the reason that I don't believe that is most likely some organization or some group would have taken credit for it at this point. But at time. this point. Okay, well, that's a great in depth analysis for a guy who has talked the talk and walked the walk. Tom <laughs> Ruskin, formerly the NYPD and now of CMP. Thanks so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having and me. And that's it for Death Country.